You might think the cell nucleus would always be in the center, right? But that's not always the case. Let's start with the basics. The nucleus is like the brain of the cell, housing most of our genetic material. It's often depicted smack in the middle of the cell in textbooks, but that's not always true in reality. First off, the position of the nucleus depends on the cell type and its function. For instance, in our skin cells, the nucleus is right in the middle. This central spot is perfect for controlling cellular activities. However, in other cells like muscle cells and neurons, the nucleus takes a different position. For example, muscle cells require a lot of space for their contractile units, so the nucleus gets pushed to the periphery. This allows the muscle cells to contract and relax without any obstruction from the nucleus. But in a neuron, the nucleus shifts to the side, making space for the nerve impulse to travel more efficiently. But why does this happen? The answer lies in the cell's need to adapt. Cells change their internal layout to suit their roles. Just like how you rearrange your room for comfort and efficiency, cells shift their nucleus for optimal performance. And it's not just about location. The movement of the nucleus also plays a crucial role in processes like cell division and immune response. It's a dynamic world inside each cell. In conclusion, the position of the nucleus is a perfect example of nature's intelligence and adaptability. It's not just floating aimlessly, it's strategically placed for the cell's needs. And that's the fascinating story of why a cell's nucleus isn't always in the center. Remember, in the world of biology, even the smallest things can be full of surprises.